What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of My Ultimate Team, this is episode number 58 and uh, today guys we start the episode off by seeing the EA have given us 5 rare gold packs for free uh, to celebrate 5 years of FIFA Ultimate Team uh, being available, so basically they gave us 5 free gold packs and uh, well, they gave them us for free, but uh, they weren't traditional gold packs in the sense that you could sell or trade or quick sell these items. You, unfortunately, if you got any of these items, you had to keep hold of them. So if you got a decent player who you didn't want, you know, maybe you got like a, an inform uh, player who was never going to get into your squad, you couldn't sell them. You had to keep every single item you got. And if you wanted to quick sell them, you would get zero coins back. So with that in mind, the packs weren't useless. They were still a very nice uh, thing to have in your store. You might get some decent cards in there, but uh, if you wanted to make profit off of them, you could not do that but uh, they gave us to us uh, because they celebrated five years of the team and um, yeah I, I opened the packs and I didn't really get anything that's going to be too much uh, too useful for us. Gundogan uh, was a good player we got and we also got Chiellini from our last pack as well so yeah, they weren't bad, but uh, as my pack luck is absolutely terrible, yeah, I wasn't really going to expect much. But as you saw there, Diakite came in and uh, we had to quick sell him because we just got him a few uh, few packs ago. So we sold Diakite and we didn't get any coins for it, so that's how it works. But uh, yeah, we got Kili Chiellini and Sirigu and uh, Gundogan and some okay players in these five packs. Nothing special, but uh, the contracts and the fitness cards were the most important thing for us really because uh, they'll come in handy more than the players will, believe it or not. But um Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I think the EA gave us those free packs and made them untradeable. I think what they did was increase the card weight, increase your chance of getting a high rate of players. So they would make you buy more packs, which I think is quite a bit of a... It, it's kind of annoying that they would do that with their intentions not being given us, not you know, not just being given us stuff for free, uh, just to say thanks for playing, but also to try and make some money themselves by exploiting people's hopes and dreams, if you will. But um, yeah, it's I guess they're a company. You can't really blame them for being a little bit uh, not heartless, but having uh, intentions that aren't exactly uh, what they appear to be at first. But um, anyway, we uh, use our bronze side, our bronze K League side we built in the last episode for the first game of today's episode. We came against this four three one two side uh, in an online single match with uh, Daniel Osvaldo up top and Lika, the left winger from Porto as a strike partnership so uh, yeah two goals and there was a Korean uh, goalkeeper in that side as well but um, I really did want to use the um the bronze tournament but again I just can't seem to find a game in the bronze tournament so maybe it's just me but I can't find a single game in those bronze tournaments which is really really frustrating but uh, anyway uh, it was still 1-0 here we had the first chance of the game but header hit the post and in the 32nd minute my opponent won a penalty very debatable penalty there I uh, only used the circle for the shirt pull once and unfortunately the referee thought that was enough to give a penalty and book my defender and I don't even think it was in the box I thought when the shirt pull occurred it was actually outside of the area as you can see it there but uh, even so, the referee gave a penalty, and Danny Osvaldo, one of the two goals he had in his squad, would stand up and take it against my bronze Korean goalkeeper. So I wasn't feeling very confident. My penalty record, both saving and scoring, is very, very bad. But uh, Osvaldo, the man alone from Southampton, stepped up, and my goalkeeper saved it. He put it straight down the middle, and my keeper tipped it away. So still 0 0 here, and that was good to save the penalty. And in the 44th minute, we had a free kit. We gave it to Ziku. Decided to try and strike it from uh, range and score a nice goal. The shot was quite poor. The goalkeeper parried it. The uh, follow up header was well saved and it was still nil nil as things stood but uh, from that my opponent gives the ball away we flick it through and the shot comes in with a half volley and it just goes wide of the post so it's still nil nil to end the first half off I thought it would have been uh, I thought it would have been nil nil ending the first half off but we had a corner a couple minutes after that and a header put into the back of the net so that made it one nil and we did take the lead on the stroke of half time and again we have to say we, we kind of deserved it really you know in the last episode we won the games we played and we uh, we, we played really well and uh, in this game as well we were playing so well we just didn't really seem to be able to score even though we were playing so well and uh, in the 63rd minute you see our centre back Min Sang Ji take the shot from just outside the area and he finds the back of the net to make it 2-0 and we did indeed win the game by 2 goals 2-0 so good to get another win under our belt with this squad and uh, again it was one of those games where I was kind of annoyed at myself that I didn't score any nice goals because I had quite a lot of chances but I just didn't take them and um, the win is of course the most important thing but I was hoping to have scored a couple of nice goals in there as well. We had to settle for a 2-0 victory and that's cool, but uh, even so, as you can see by the stats, we dominated really and we definitely deserved the win, so that was kind of cool. But uh, again, I, I, I just I couldn't seem to find a match on the online tournament, so I clipped all the footage out. I spent so long trying to find a game in the Bronze Cup, but I just can't seem to find any whatsoever. And it's really, really annoying because it means that with this uh, side, we're going to be limited to playing games in the online single matches, which is really, really annoying because I want to play tournaments. But uh, anyway, we came against this side here, uh, sporting the Galatasaray, like it. 
it was a 4-3-3 uh, Italian bronze side, so some decent uh, some decent cars they look like in there, and I thought it would be quite a decent matchup, you know, a full Italian side against a full K-League side. But the first chance would come in the third minute, and it was Kangso Il breaking through after a lovely through ball, and it was a good finish by the striker to make it 1-0. I could have used some of the four-star skill moves there, but to be honest, I thought my opponent would be quite good. I didn't want to risk messing up, so it was 1-0. In the sixth minute, he sees Ziku flick the ball over his head and then volley it from range, but it just goes over. So I am hoping to score a couple of nice skill goals with Ziku, or some nice goals anyway, but uh, unfortunately it's very, very hard with him only having 48 pace, but in the 60, uh, 16th minute he sees Thiago get on the ball, he crosses the ball in towards the centre, I was hoping for Kang Sewell to bicycle kick this one, instead he went with his head and he found the back of the net, so that made it 2-0, both goals scored by him, and uh, I was kind of annoyed he didn't bi annoyed he didn't bicycle kick that one, because he had the chance, but uh, even so the, uh, the header was nice, and that made it 2-0, and in the 32nd minute another good chance for us, Thiago plays a 1-2 here, goes down the right hand side, really, really decent chance, nice piece of skill, keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going, chips it in, Ziku flicks the ball over his head, then goes with a bicycle kick, it's blocked, Kang uh, scissor kick was well saved, and then the shot hit the post, but uh, the flag was already up for offside, so unfortunately we couldn't score a nice goal there, and it was still 2-0, but we were playing very well, my opponent wasn't really playing well at all, and uh, he see us uh, get the ball with uh, Choi Hyun Tae, who's got 81 for long shots and 80 shot power, so that would have been a lovely strike, had that ball found the back of the net, but it was still 2-0, and in the 56th minute, we find Ziku uh, get onto the ball here with the scoop turn, rolls it through towards Kang So Il, he uh, plays the ball over the top towards Ziku, really good chance, it's actually Huang Il see who wins it, flicks it over the top, and Ziku's volley is well saved, so still 2-0, but to be honest, I was playing so well, it was only going to matter of time before we would score that third goal, and uh, from this corner, it's crossed into the box towards uh, Huang Do Yon and the header goes over the bar where the referee decides to give a penalty which I found very 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 odd because I couldn't really see how it was a penalty but uh, to be honest in the last game we had a penalty given against us so I didn't think it was a penalty and in this game we got one which definitely wasn't a penalty so I thought I guess this balanced it out really but uh, anyway Zika would stand up and take it and my opponent wasn't playing well at all to be honest he was playing very very poorly so it wouldn't matter if we missed it or not but Zika would stand up and take it and uh, we stopped the cursor right in the green and smashed it into the top corner. The keeper dives the right way, but it's a good penalty. And yeah, that makes it 3-0. And uh, as I said, my opponent rarely threatened in the entire game, so <coughs> this wouldn't really change anything. It will just make things look even better for us. So 3-0. And in the 63rd minute, my opponent did come forward here. A good chance for him. Uh, they get forward. The uh, shot comes in. It's a good save by our goalkeeper. And uh, then one of the most scrappy clearances you'll ever see. <laughs> God only knows how the ball stayed out there, but it did. And it was still 3-0. And uh, as things still, we were going to be keeping that clean sheet. But unfortunately, in the 89th minute, my opponent plays a free ball. Uh, none of our defenders could catch up. I brought the goalkeeper out thinking he'd catch up. He didn't. And uh, the chip goes into the open goal to make it 3-1. So my opponent does claim a goal back here but it would only be a consolation goal and we would get the free uh, not the free points because it's an online single match but we would get a win anyway and that's good because uh, he wasn't a good player my opponent and I hate to say that I really do but he didn't really threaten me that much and he did get a goal which was nice for him but um, yeah we, we deserved a win and uh, again I was actually quite annoyed at myself that I didn't score any nice goals in that game but uh, still 3-1 was the final score and as you can see we had 17 shots and 12 on target it's not a real surprise we did collect the win and we decided to go back into the online single match for the third and final game of today's episode before giving a contract to Choi Hyun Tae, who uh, does have those long shots, which is why I've given him the number 99. So I know whenever he gets on the ball, I can let fly from range. But um, we uh, we came against this opponent here. He had a 3-5-2, very, very nice side here. A couple of Englishmen, uh, a trio of Englishmen, a trio of Jamaican uh, players as well, and also a few Koreans. So very, very nice mix of this side. And uh, some decent players as well. And I, I thought I'd have to be wary of the, uh, the trio of Jamaicans. I thought they could be quite quick. And uh, of course, we've got a few Koreans ourselves, so we know how good they are. But the first chance we're coming in the 19th minute here. Uh, Thiago goes down the right-hand side. Really good chance for us here as he step over his round one. Then fake shots to get himself inside. I gave the ball away, but we got it back eventually. It comes to Kang Sewil, but his shot hits the post. And unfortunately, my opponent clears the ball away. So we almost took the lead in this game. But unfortunately, it was still a nil-nil. And uh, from this cross, it is unfortunately headed away by my opponent. And he goes on the counter-attack with Stevenson getting onto the ball and finding Brown. Brown gets onto it here and plays it forward to his number 10. I couldn't get, uh, couldn't get the header away. It comes to John. Johnson and he strikes it past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0 to my opponent so he does take the lead in this game that was real the first chance for him to be honest but he took it very nicely and it was 1-0 to him 
and uh, here you see in the 38th minute another good chance here as my opponent goes down the left hand side and uh, I gotta be honest like uh, in these bronze games in these sort of like bronze matchups in the online single matches you kind of expect your opponents aren't going to be the best of players but my opponent in this game was really really good he was very very good indeed and I just couldn't seem to stop him breaking through the pace up top was really hard to deal with and every time he went through he looked like scoring but in the 45th minute here a good chance for us a Ziku fake Rabonis round uh, Pierce then a heel teal flick and a body faint and a lovely strike into the bottom corner so that was a nice goal by Ziku I was looking for a nice skill goal in this episode and finally we had one uh, Ziku gets it not too amazing obviously but still very nice to score nice little heel teal flick and body faint to uh, outfox the defender and a good strike from just outside the area so 2-1 here back in the game but unfortunately in this game my opponent played very well and I just couldn't seem to stop him my defense was really weak and every time he came forward he looked like scoring and every time he came forward he did score so 50 minutes in and I was 3-1 down and as things stood I was indeed going to be losing for the first time with this squad and uh, despite the fact as you'll see the match stats at the end of the game I did have more shots than my opponent but he was the one who was leading in terms of goals and in the 60th minute Ziku gets past his man with a couple of nice skill moves he plays the ball out wide towards Huang he also the chip shot god only knows why I went for a chip there was easily saved and as my opponent cleared the ball once again I felt very very scared as he came forward with the uh, the deadly strike partnership and um as Stevenson runs clear down the centre he rolls it through and Brown slots it, uh, tries to slot it into the back of the net unfortunately it's saved and it goes to his uh, his uh, his colleague and he puts the ball into the empty net so 4-1 to my opponent, that was how the game finished and like I said my opponent played very very well so I, I tip my hat to this guy he was a lot better than me and uh, despite that, despite the fact that I had more shots he did he was the better player and he did deserve to win I think in all seriousness I may have deserved to at least take the game to extra time but I think he was probably the better player and should have won it anyway so 4-1 to my opponent, we lose for the first time with this squad and that does kind of suck but uh, as always guys a big thank you for watching today's video I really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed the episode please leave a like it's much appreciated and it really does help my channel out and I'll see you for the next episode of my ultimate team very soon